Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing the Micro Titanium Stove from OliCamp.com. Here's their website right here. This is the smallest isobutane stove that I've ever tested and I want to show you what it's all about. Here you go. It is tiny. I'm going to get it out of this little stuff sack. It is 1.5 ounce. There it is. And what you do, you flip up these little legs, and there's your stove, basically. Flip this little guy out, and there's your on-off valve. It does not have a piezo igniter, so keep that in mind. It is a self, uh, you do have to light it. So throw a spark or use a lighter or a match, and you can light this bad boy. Ideally, what you do is you get your fuel canister, kind of screw this in place, Once that's in place, then you're good to go. Now you have your stove all ready to rock. And it does have these nice little ridges on the pot grabbers. So it's really gonna help, you know, keep hold of the pot while it's on the stove. So this stove has an 8900 max BTU output um, on high. Now, as I said, it is manual ignition. So you wanna throw a spark or use a lighter or match to light it. But this thing really roasts and it, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty awesome for the size. So I'm gonna get it outside. Now we're gonna do a boil test. All right, so got my convective windscreen here. I got 32 ounces of water in the pot. This is just right out of the sink, cold. And we're gonna we're gonna light this bad boy. now just a little over I started the stopwatch a little late so but we're a little uh, probably close to two and a half minutes now we're starting to get some bubbles on the outside Four and a half minutes for boiling. Roaring boil. Awesome. The handle here gets a little hot. The little valve here 
does get a little hot, especially when using the windscreen. So keep in mind, it's just warm right now, but when I first touched it, it was a little warmer than that. Not really warm enough to burn me, but still definitely want to be careful. So this stove retails for about $50 and right now in about mid February, it is the lightest um, compact, most compact stove on the market that uses uh, fuel canisters. So I really like it. It does work extremely well. The stove itself right here, this is all titanium. The pot stands are stainless steel because these things are gonna get roasting hot. So these are strong for strength, titanium for lightweight. As I said, this thing weighs one and a half ounces and it's that big, I mean, just look how small that is. So on the inside here, it does have a little valve description diagram that's gonna show you which way to turn it on, which way to turn it off, or to make the flame higher or lower. Pretty cool. So for those of us that really know how to use a backpacking stove, it's not a big deal. But for somebody who's just getting into the industry, just starting to use a backpacking stove, like something like this, it's good to know. Another thing that's also cool is that this little guy just kind of flips up and out of the way. So when this thing gets folded all down like that, I mean, look how small that is. That thing is tiny. There's your valve on the inside. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a very, very small little O-ring right on the inside here that's really gonna seal good against the uh, fuel canister. There's your actual burner right there on the top. All right, so that's my review of the Micro Titanium Stove. This is one and a half ounces from olecamp.com. Smallest, most compact, isobutane canister stove on the market right now and this thing is awesome. If you like my review and found it informative, you want to get one of these for yourself, click the link down in my description box below and, and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my website. Another way to help support is on my YouTube channel, there's a donate button. You can actually donate $1, $5, $10, or any number of dollars to help me produce higher quality content to give back to you. So I do appreciate all the help and support that you guys have given me over the last few years, so thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below in my comments section. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also, please like, subscribe, and share on Facebook and Twitter. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing, as well as sharing my videos on Facebook and Twitter and helping my exposure rate. So thank you very much. Thanks very much for tuning into TrailerMountain.com. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews and other outdoor-related hodgepodge. Take care, guys. Get outdoors.